gears here, foot pain is often caused by one simple problem, and that's wearing improperly fitted shoes. Tyler Wilkerson and Matt Berberich, they join us now. They're from New Balance, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having, thank you for having us. So the saying is that most people do wear the wrong shoe, yeah. that it's not properly fitted. Mm -hmm. 60% they say is people have improperly fitted shoes. They mm -hmm. come in whether they're too small, they're not wide enough, and their foot simply hurts. Uh, I, I, are you talking about the ladies? Uh, <laughs> well, well everybody. Yeah, what yeah. is that? What is that? Everybody wants a little bitty shoe. Yeah, everyone perhaps wants a, a small foot, you know, yeah. as well. Now, you say that the improper fitting of a shoe can also impact the body as far as pain? Yes. Um, it can cause foot pain, ankle pain, knee pain, hip pain, even back pain as well. Mm -hmm. Just work this way up the body. Well, Matt, how is that? I mean, what is it about the shoe that impacts the body that way? Well, if the shoe is not constructed to your particular foot, your arch type, it can make you roll a certain way, under pronate, which is roll outward, or over pronate, roll inward, putting more impact on your knees, which mm -hmm. is throwing off your hips in the long run. Mm -hmm. Well, you brought some shoes. Let's take a look Absolutely. at them. And what is it that we should be looking at? Uh, I say look at, but you just mentioned about the arch and what have you, when we're selecting a shoe for a foot. Well, we always ask a customer when they come in what activities are they going to be looking to do in the shoe. Um, there are certain shoes that are good for certain activities, whether you're running long distances. Like this shoe, this is the 990, one of our most popular. It has a support around the back of it, an in-calf, a polyurethane material, so it's going to be a very supportive shoe. As compared to, this is a brand new shoe that just came out. It's a fresh foam, so it's actually just going to have cushion all the way around mm -hmm. it. So some people need that cushion, some people need the support, mm -hmm. but we work to fit and size people properly for whatever they're going to be doing. So what would this shoe be good for, and what would that shoe be good for? Well, this one's probably going to be more. This is going to look good with jeans or khakis or whatever it may be. You can wear it with that. Yeah, okay. exactly. Or this one's going to be more for running, like more of a long distance. Mm -hmm. um, more people. This is a new shoe that they came out with that's very similar to the Minima shoe, mm -hmm. um, which is like a barefoot shoe, okay. but they added a layer of foot cushion around it. So, how will we know that the shoe fits properly? When you come in, we have a fit system. It'll look at the pressure points of your foot, your arch type, see if you're putting more weight on one side of your body than another. Then after that, we'll watch you walk with just your socks on. Of course, the rest are your clothes. Mm -hmm. But we'll see if you tend to roll inward or outward. And then based on that, certain shoes are better for your foot. For instance, with this shoe right here, this is the New Balance 1260. This is our most stable, our top line stability shoe. Mm -hmm. Right here, it has a dual density foam. But you can even feel that. Yeah. That pattern material is a little firmer mm -hmm. than that white material right here. Yes. So for someone that rolls inward, that's going to slow the rate of the pronation mm -hmm. down, helping align their lower body. Okay, Matt. And um, Tyler, we're going to have to leave it there, but the point is to get measured each time. Absolutely. You know, yeah. get Take the time and do it. Your feet are very okay. important. They're the foundation of your body. Okay. Matt, Tyler, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you very much. Absolutely. We'll be right back.